present our flag to the family of First Lieutenant Philip H. Stallman in grateful appreciation for his brave service to our country. Please be seated. Order. Order. Mrs. All, would you please come up and say a few words? Good afternoon, veterans, special guests, faculty, parents, and students. I am the daughter, the proud daughter, of a veteran. I am the eighth child and the sixth daughter of First Lieutenant Philip H. Stallman, born on August 8, 1921. When Pearl Harbor signaled the United States' entrance into World War II, my dad was just 20 years old. He decided to enlist and become an airplane mechanic. But after scoring high on tests, he was recommended to enter the Army Air Corps and train as a B-17 bomber pilot, attaining officer status. He was part of the highly decorated 8th Air Force during World War II. Dad was assigned to the 398th Bomb Group 601st Squadron, whose training headquarters were in Rapid City, South Dakota. After training was completed in March 1944, he married my mom, Margaret Merrigan Stallman, in a humble ceremony in Rapid City, and then was deployed to the 398 space in Nut Hampstead, England. Dad fulfilled 29 harrowing bombing missions from their base in England, dropping bombs over sites in Paris and all over France, excuse me, and in Germany. Due to illness, he missed one mission and had to make it up to complete the required 30 missions. Early in the morning, on October 15, 1944, a little over 70 years ago, he was awoken in the middle of the night and assigned to a new crew on the B-17 Lovely Julie. Their mission that day was to drop bombs over targets in Cologne, Germany. On their return flight, the plane was hit by a German anti-aircraft shell, which exploded in the nose of the aircraft. George Abbott, the lead bombardier, called a toggleer, was blown out of the plane and killed instantly. The nose of the plane was peeled back like a banana, and it partially obstructed the windshield in the cockpit. The huge opening in the plane caused them to lose air pressure, and they had to descend to dangerously low altitudes in order to fly the plane. This made them quite a vulnerable target for the Germans. With no working navigation equipment, they managed to navigate by sight back to their base in England. Because of the superior flying skills of pilot Larry Delancey and my dad, co-pilot Philip Stallman, the rest of the crew made it back alive. For their brave efforts, they were both awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. In 1999, I wrote an essay about Dad's ordeal, and I won a trip on a B-17, the 909, flying out of Republic Airport in Farmingdale and flying over Long Island. It was the thrill of my life to be able to, in some small way, share my Dad's experience from World War II. When my mom and Dad passed away in 2005, I found in his file cabinet this poem that I had written for him on Veterans Day in 1992. I would like to share it with you now, and I have a copy of it for all the veterans here today. Ode to a Veteran. You left your home and family to face the great unknown. You didn't have your loved ones near. You set out on your own. If you were scared, you didn't say. 
Courage you showed, not fear. For your country you would fight to keep us safe back here. The rifles fired, the bombs were dropped on enemies near and far. Your life was put up on the line to try and end the war. And when the war was over, you worked to keep the peace. You helped to bring the message to all to make the fighting cease. Some, like you, flew in airplanes, others marched in the ranks. But no matter how large or small the task, you all deserve our thanks. You have kept this country safe and free, and each night for you I pray that you are shown the respect that you deserve on veterans and every day. They say there are no heroes left for us to look up to, but I can tell you they are wrong. My hero, Dad, is you. All veterans here today and all those all over the United States are heroes for risking your own freedom and your lives for us all. On behalf of all of those assembled here today, we salute you and thank you for your service to our country. Thank you.